this is Liz. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for spending time with me. I'm excited today. I showed you this book uh, about a month ago by Bridget Pam Whitney of Collage and Cut Autumn. And I said she had a backgrounds book and this arrived today. It's Collage and Cut Autumn Dreams Backgrounds and Papers and it's by Bridget Pam Whitney and then I also bought Collectiana Collage Ephemera for Art Journaling Fairies Volume 1 by Maremi's Small Art. So I'm going to flip through both of these and I'm really excited to show them to you. Just want to check that I am in screen and then without further ado I'm going to start. So, Bridget says, Autumn Dreams, Backgrounds and Papers. I am so excited to share this, my second book of backgrounds and papers with you, for you to enjoy your crafting projects. I have had so much fun creating these scenes and designs, and I look forward to seeing what you will create with them. Please remember to leave a review on Amazon for me as this helps so many more people to get the opportunity to see this book. Thanks so much to everyone for your kind support. Bridget Pam Whitney. So I would like to encourage anyone that gets it to leave a review because I do know that it makes a difference. This is beautiful. This is the same background as there and one could use that and cut it up. Then look at this gorgeous scene. I want to have a quick look at the ephemera book because I think she's got some of the same backgrounds that she used in here. That's not the same one. Yeah, there are a few of the same ones. So that's great if you didn't want to cut that book up, but if you didn't mind. Um, so on this page and on this page is the same image. So you're not losing something when you use it. It's a beautiful scene. Gorgeous Paris scene. I love these colors. What would you decorate that with? People walking here and maybe a boat or a barge or some pumpkins. This lovely, lovely bench looking out on the Seine. Oh, it looks so romantic and beautiful. This very cute little fairy-esque mushroomy coffee house. Beautiful. And a very nice rustic scene. I could have a lot of fun using gnomes or all sorts of things in that. Look at that fairy tale scene. Now, I think that is at the back of this book as well. That's what I wanted to see. There is a Paris scene. Oh, it's different. It's a different Paris scene. Uh, okay. That's nice. What was I looking for? No, so there's, there's about two that I think are the same. I love this fairy tale one. This is not there. This would be nice, actually. I was thinking of using some fairies on a picture like that. I want to see if there's anything. I think the colorways might be wrong. But I love this sort of fairy tale thing. Anyway, another really, really fairy tale looking one. I love that. It's too gorgeous. A little bit spooky. <laughs> and that's nice. How cool would a scarecrow and mushrooms and pumpkins and tractors. Oh, look at that beautiful alpine scene. Wow. Oh, and another one, so pretty. Oh, my word, it's gorgeous. Love this, isn't that beautiful? 
I mean, that you could actually basically frame it and put it on your wall. Or you could fussy cut that out and use this somewhere else as well. And this is lovely. This is just a paper. Is that in this book? Just want to see. I suppose I should have looked properly and then put markers. Nope. Lovely, beautiful. Nice quality paper. That's pretty. It's a very tiny little pattern. And I love that there's purple in it. Little birds and leaves. Lovely. That's a nice one. Look how nicely those two go together as well. That's beautiful. And that also kind of goes with that. Oh, and with that. I like these sort of patterns that... Mix and match very nicely with things. It's a beautiful scene. It looks like a tapestry. Just want to check I'm in screen. Yes. Another beautiful forest scene. And another one. So these one could actually even cut out and put in a, if you were making a glue book. So there's three of those in the spine open and then this very pretty pattern and this lovely alcohol ink type of it would be so nice cut up look at that like a watercolor sure so pretty <gasps> then we've got a spooky halloween one which is flying in the night. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. All spooky. Oh, and that's lovely. It looks like there's been paint sloshed on there. That looks fabulous. It looks like you can feel it, but you can't. <laughs> oh, look at that. Cute little doggies. Little pugs. Teeny ones and slightly bigger ones. And this is very sweet. Beautiful fall. It's a little bit fuzzy. This is very sweet with the little corgis. Very cute. Oh, and that's nice. I like that. Another very scary, dark Halloween picture. And a spooky farm scene. <laughs> Oh, look, these have got um, plain colours, so this is very useful. A very pretty autumn sort of scene. That's gorgeous. Again, I could actually frame that and use it on the wall. And useful papers with plain backgrounds again. And that's that. That's really nice. Bridget Pam Whitney. Collage and Cut Autumn Dreams Backgrounds and Papers. And this is Collage and Cut Autumn Dreams, an Autumn and Halloween Collage Collection. So this is ephemera and this is backgrounds. Great job. And the backgrounds is much thinner than the ephemera. It's also about $4 cheaper. And then I got this and it's the first one I've got by... Maremi Small Art. She also has a YouTube channel and I've watched some of her things. Excuse me. I'm having a sip of tea. She tends to do more um, art journaling than glue booking, but she also cuts these up and I thought I'd try one of one of her books to see what they are like. She's got some words here. Creativity is inventing, experimenting, growing, taking risks, breaking rules, making mistakes and having fun. Mary Lou Cook. That's rather nice. This is a Pablo Picasso quote. All with these little fairies. Oh, these are so sweet. These have got nothing to do with autumn, by the way. I just bought them because I love fairies. Love the big eyes, those spindly little legs. Very, very cute. 
I like the music in the dress. Nice quality paper as well. It feels the same as the other book. Same quality paper. Again, slight fuzziness there, but nothing dreadful. Very pretty. It's like a cloth doll. This will be hard to fussy cut the very thin um, little arms and the thin stem. I'm never quite sure how to do that if I should just cut a square or tell me what you would do. Oh goody, some more music. I like that. This is much easier to cut. So pretty. <laughs> These are adorable. Oh, look at that. I love that with polka dots and the huge foot. <laughs> look at that little girl. So sweet. Oh, they're very, very cute. They're all in a sort of a muted color way, but lots of different colors. I like that. I think they could fit in with the autumn because it's not bright. It could also fit in with spring. Look at this little girl, very serious and a little bit worried. So adorable. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, shame, poor little girl. She looks so sad. These are very, very cute. I like these dresses with the writing on them. And I love the music ones and the polka dots. Very cute. They're big feet. <laughs> They're very cute. Look at those long legs. <laughs> I think that is so cute. And that one. And what's nice also here is she's got, oh, look at that big, but she's got different sizes. Oh, that's so cute. Like if I look at that and I look at this fairy tale image, where was it? Something like, okay, so it's too big for here, but one of these, I mean, I think these little pictures would look absolutely gorgeous with this scene. Very different styles, and that's sort of what makes collage so fun. quite nice she's taken the trouble that the music notes are sort of correct they're not all weird although these are not right they're incorrect so I'm, I'm pretty sure these are all generated using AI though so AI doesn't always get it completely right but mostly it's corrected look at these that would fit on a twinchy and a ATC as well as normal pages so that's fantastic Some bigger ones again. I love those expressions. Like her. It's a big girl. Very sweet. So it's a lot of very similar ones, but they're just adorable. And then some more really nice. Um, quotes and things and she gives her online store which I've not visited and all her socials and that's that so this one and this autumn one were the same price 
And um, the autumn one is, you get many more images than you do with the fairies, but they're both lovely books. So, um, but that was the ephemera autumn one, not this one. So here are the two that I showed today. And I hope you enjoyed seeing through them and I'm going to collage and make something out of them very soon. Thanks so much for watching and I will put links to these below. Please remember to click that little like button. It would really help the video. Have a great and artistic and creative week. Bye now.